Well, here's the rear engine of my SkyMaster, and something's not quite right. So as you know from my previous video, the SkyMaster has the three-bladed composite props, and this is what it should be like on the back. But unfortunately, the prop has been removed, and it's been sent to the prop shop for repairs. And this is what's happened. It's got a rock chip. And as you can see, it's a couple layers into the fiberglass. This is rather disappointing because I've only been flying the plane a short time so far, and I've only been flying off a paved runway and apron. So somehow it picked a rock off the paved runway and threw it up into the prop to hurt the prop. In the POH, when you accelerate, it recommends leading with the rear engine, which I did do. And the reason is twofold. One is so that you can confirm the rear engine is running properly, but the second is so that the front uh, engine and prop doesn't throw a rock back to the rear. So I did do that exercise, but perhaps I should have been going at a higher ground speed before I gave full power to the front engine. So on future flights, I'm going to make sure my ground speed is a little bit quicker before I put power to the front, just to minimize the chance of hurting the prop again. Or at least to decrease the frequency of this happening. So, what to do as I wait for the prop to come back from repairs? Well, how about some avionics upgrades? So this is the panel as it sits right now. So my avionics guy has taken out all the instruments, He's working on cleaning up all the wiring in the back and removing a huge amount of old connectors and basically a whole bunch of stuff that's no longer needed. The plan will be a new aluminum overlay for the panel. Some things are going to move around a bit and there will be some new instruments coming in. So I'm pretty excited this is what I have going in. This is the Garmin GTN 750XI. That should be a huge upgrade to what I've had. Also, I'm going to put in a GI-275 and another GI-275. And for the twin engine monitor, it's going to be this EDM-790 from JPI. So that should uh, be a huge upgrade to what it's had. I'm really excited for all this work to get done and for the prop to come back and to get back flying. Thanks for watching.